Hey Clashers, with Zap Titans being so strong, I feel like a lot of people have forgotten about the Super Boulder Smash in Legends, in Clan Wars, wherever. And today I feel like we should bring them a little bit back, because they were not nerfed or anything, they are still incredibly strong. And today we're going to take a look at how you can still make them work, so let's get started. Before we're jumping into the attacks, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Samsung Galaxy. I have been using Samsung phones for quite some time as my personal devices and I'm super excited to use now the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and what is even better? That's right, it is optimized for gaming to play your favorite games and like we all know, play those Supercell games. This custom version has been optimized to improve the performance of the phone which results in an insanely high frame rate. This makes gaming on your mobile device super smooth and you can play your favorite games on their highest quality. With the adaptive display features, you will be able to play in the sun or at home in your bed. The adaptive vision booster will make sure that your screen adapts to your environment and guarantees the best possible gaming experience. With the long battery life, you can play all day long. And because of the improved cooling system, you won't have your device overheating again. Another super cool feature is the integrated pen, which you can just drag out and then just go onto your warm map, take a screenshot and share your plans with your teammates with just drawing them onto your screen. Planning has been never easier before and if you are interested in stepping up your gaming experience, use the link down below to inform yourself right now. Okay, we are starting with something which is looking pretty similar to a box space. Question now though is, how do we approach this? I feel like we could go in from the far side, that is for sure an option, but it's not going to be easy at all. How do we do that though? How do we do that? We have, ooh, I have a really good idea. I have a really, really solid idea. So we're going to use the flame finger. I'm going to go in from the far side, which has some certain risk to it, because typically what you try to do from the far side, you are trying to somehow use the lock launcher to have a better pathing and everything. That's not th something we're going to do on this one. Instead, we're just risking it all because this flame finger value, take a look at that. It can take this entire flank out because the next defense which can shoot at it is this mortar down here. So this entire flank could be taken care of with our troops, which with the flame finger, which is amazing. So with that being said, let's rage our warden. And then we can use our queen to lure him over just like that. We can use then the wall break up here, ice golem, king, we can use some titans, bowlers, wall break right here, some loons, everything in there, wall break has works, that's great. Let's breach that, let's raise it up, and then we can use another wall, that wall break has, that was not the wall break I was looking for by the way, but it's fine, it's fine, we have our titans in there so we can delay a possible poison for like later stages, we have three heroes to interface, we have to remember that. And at this point, I'm just looking where things are going. Let's just wait and see where things are going. And then based on that, we're going to react. So far, it seems like um, that a lot of stuff is going to the bottom side, which is totally fine. We're just going to jump down here and rage things up. Warn ability, I think not just yet. I think just in a little bit. Now, I think as everything is like going around and trying to find a nice spot to sit and do their damage, just like that, another freeze. King at the top side is trying to take down defense. We can add the Royal Champ up here. Baby Dragon. Looking good. We still have the, um, the Skeleton spell, which I feel could be quite useful as soon as we're getting... Poison that. As soon as we're getting further towards the back end. Let's use a wizard here. Oh, wait. Okay, Royal Champ has gotten the defending Royal Champion with that King together. Royal Champ ability can be used. I think that's looking amazing. I think this is looking really, really good for us. This flame flinger was really nice of pushing our troops further into that tunnel compartment. We can even swag the skeleton spell. No problem. We can swag the queen ability. So you can see this strategy is still super powerful. It's really powerful, um, especially versus like those type of box bases, which are normally really annoying to attack. And we keep getting those box bases, but that is no problem whatsoever. We have an interesting... If I don't remember, like, if I don't, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is, by the way, an old base from me, which I posted, or, like, not, like, I posted this base on YouTube. Um, I tried to remember what the traps are. Or actually, that was a ton of 14 base, and he adjusted that to being a ton of 15. 
That makes sense. Okay. So let's start over here with the Warden Walk. Just slow and steady so we can concentrate on other stuff. If I remember correctly, the entire Tesla farm is around that Dark Elixir storage, by the way. So that's already good to know. Then the Flinger right here. We can use a three dunes. It's two already enough. I think there is no elephants, right? Or like not close enough. So we should be able to take that out because the mortar would be otherwise quite annoying for our Flinger. The Warden Walk can take a lot of buildings down here. And um, then we can use maybe a wizard. We have used an archer. I think that would have been better, but it's fine. Um, and then we can start using rages for our warden because I would like to get the multi inferno tower. Not gonna lie, I think the multi, uh, the multi inferno tower would be quite nice. That rage could have been a bit more aggressive, but it should be okay overall. Let's wait. And then we're going in. Just question now is I think into the dark, uh, into the elixir storage compartment. Or into the eagle compartment. Not sure yet. Maybe just something in between to make sure that we're opening a little bit more. I think both is fine. Let's not now do that. Ice Golem. Now the wall break. Titans. Super Bowlers. S loons. Everything. Wall break is fine. That is totally fine. And then we can use the jump for later stages right here. Let's raise things up. We have the raised up expos right here, which is not nice to have. Warn ability right now. That warn ability was awesome. Queen is following nicely. We can rage up our troops again. Just like that. We can use the We can use that skeleton spell over there. This time we don't have to swag it. Poison here versus the defending queen. We have the royal champion. I think we can use the royal champion down here. Um, so let's see if we can still make it all the way to the town hall. Rage things up. We want to get that town hall. We have still the defending free, uh, the freeze. Let's use it. Nice. We can start cleaning things up already slowly. Already one cleanup troop over there. We can use the baby dragon right here. Town hall is down by now, which is awesome. Royal Gym is looking a lot, like looking good. Queen ability now. This is looking crushed. This is just so, so good. I feel like on the far side entries nowadays, a lot of times, it's just way, way better to use the flame thing because it's creating better pathing. It's going to be able to redirect your troops. The lock launcher sometimes is good to use as well, but in the end, it always depends on the base, right? Like, there's never this one entry which always works. That That's just not there. But so far, a lot of box spaces. Let's take a look at if we find another box space or maybe a different style. Okay, this is a wild looking base. How do we approach this? We have the invisibility tower behind the town hall, which is never a good thing to have. We could, hmm, what could we go for? That's, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like it's always the hardest to take those super weird looking bases. Um, because normally you always have like the first idea as soon as you're se seeing a certain style of base. With those bases, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You always have to then think again what we want to go for. On this one, though, we want to charge that eagle. I feel like uh, charge is better. Why don't I go for a warden walk? The reason is pretty simple. I think we can create nice pathing with charging in here. There's nothing in the second layer which we cannot reach or which can actually threaten our queen. So I feel like a queen charge could be kind of nice. The next reason why I like queen charges with this strategy a bit more compared to, for example, the Zap Titans is you have the poison, okay? You have the poison in your army composition, which means you can charge the clan because you're not only relying on your titans to clear everything pretty much. Now the poison tower is getting triggered, but that is hopefully fine as long as those, as long as those healers are staying intact. Let's use the queen ability. And then we're starting in here. I feel like we are going for sure with the lock launcher. Let's just start that already. And the titans, the super bowlers, S loons, everything in here, looking good for now. Queen, yes, she has lost her ability, but we can keep raging her if, if it's needed. We still have the warden ability to protect her. Now, we need to make sure that everything is getting slowly into the core. All walls are open. That's good. Well, walls are open, but apparently my troops don't care. Okay. Why? Could someone please tell me? Super bonus? There's... Yes. That's good. Let's use the warning ability. The invisibility spells getting triggered as well. Let's add that royal champion. Already an outside wizard for cleanup. Another rage here. Now at this point, we can just make sure that everything on the outside, maybe at least, is getting tanked. Jump spell to the left, because from the right side, that's where my um, Royal Champ is coming from. Let's add another rage right here. We can freeze those defending heroes. 
We can already add a wizard here. We can add a wizard here. Archer there. Things are not looking too bad. Another freeze. Is there, why is that? My, on those bases, trust me, your troops are going to act really strange. I don't know why. That king did not like the jump spell on the left side. But that is fine. Wall break was too late, so it's opening the wrong compartment. But that is fine as well. And that's just how it works. Easy. You can see. Super Bowlers are still incredibly strong. The only reason why I feel like a lot of people have used now the Zeptides is first, it's kind of easier to get the heater switch like consistent. And the second thing is it's a really good counter versus the current box base meta. But I feel like as soon as box bases or like the base style in general is going to adapt a little bit in the meta, we are going to be back at super like for with super bowlers. They are just so, so incredibly strong. Whoever has like started using them, back them on turn of fifteen, and it's now like, should I still use them? Well, you can still use them. I have showed you in this video. They are still incredibly strong. Feel free to use them. And as always, the link for this or the link for this strategy is down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye bye.